Okay, back at the beach here. Um, sure changed again. Had a bigger cut before. It was a bit cut in here. And now it's kind of changed a bit here, but it's still pretty low. All the seaweed coming out here, so it's pretty slippery. But um, got some herons up there, four, five there, and one over there. Extra fishing probably in a pool there. So it looks like it's uh, well, yeah, it's washed down big time actually. But um, see, it sure looks so different again. I can't doesn't look familiar let me hunt around here work my way actually you know the cut was here on this side here last time yeah see the rocks if you watch your last video all that was cut out now it's kind of reversed now this is cut out here way down there is really low so you don't know it'll pop up so around here because it's really low here all these rocks are starting to pop out here and all this has been washed here big time that means you know that's why it's really slippery too by the way anyways let me just hunt I was there last time because I went down I think those steps I believe I can't remember but I'm not sure I don't think I walked this way last time I was in that area hunting it looked really really good but the tide came really fast now I'm gonna have to hunt in there. It's really, really low. But I'll work around this area first. You know, I'm kind of more interested in the muck, muck area. When it gets, a lot of rings get stuck in some muck, but there's also lots of rocks. But a lot of the rocks have metal, iron and stuff. So the PI, it's a bit of a headache. Okay, let's see what happens. Any good targets, I'll show you. Stay tuned. Yeah, I just found some uh, Chrysler car keys, probably pretty old. Sit right in the hole there, so there, you know, no, not a lot of stuff here, but uh, got a couple of nick holes, a penny, this, so far, we're just kind of going back and forth here and there, hopefully my lens is not too dirty, but uh, raining pretty hard, looks like a wedding party up there, kind of a bad day for them, but that's what it is, right, okay, okay, uh, this is kind of my low spot here, but uh, what happened was, it did wash, wash it around a little bit, the, the gully is gone, but it's, there's still stuff here. I got uh, this, uh, wish it was a ring, but it looks like a piece of lead. It's like a lead donut. Pretty heavy. Got a couple pieces of lead here. Got a, a 40s penny, a couple of uh, zinc pennies, and another fishing weight. So we're gonna work the mud here. It's really soft, but it's a little dip in here. You can't see it now, but it's here. There's that high spot from last time, so. All this low area, I'm gonna play around into rocks. Okay, stay tuned. Yeah, I just found a ring here. I think it's brass, I'm thinking. Can't tell, but it uh, looks just a little kind of rough. But it's definitely an old, old ring. And you know the funny thing is, I was uh, melting some weights and so on, and I said, okay, gold ring. This scoop before, before I got it, huh? But it's probably not a gold ring. Oh, I, I see markings in there. Wow, this could be gold. Let me just uh, take a look at this for a second here. I see, a, I see a marking in there. Low tide is right now, twelve o'clock. Come on, where's? Look at that ring here. This is a photo for. Ah, oh, come on! What do stupid stuff like that? Come on! It's a marking side. That's a good sign. It could be a maker's mark, but maybe it is old gold. Can be able to make it out. Hopefully, it's a marking. It's definitely a ring, right at a low spot. Let's see if I can take a better look at it here. It's a signet ring, so it's definitely old. I'll 
tell you this uh, phone sucks you know it's supposed to be you know iPhone 10 but it's just to be honest I'm not too impressed hmm. I don't know, maybe it's just muck don't know not muck but maybe corrosion definitely ring old old ring sure looks like rating there almost think it's 10 carat there's definitely something there that I can see but uh let's see if I can shine my pants a bit it's not really shining up I just think it's not gold I think it's brass to be honest not super heavy but it's a small ring Okay, well, we'll see. Stay tuned. Bring the on board. I got a weird kind of bullet here. It looks like it's copper and it's maybe lead on the tip. It's the end of the bullet. The actual lead piece. A little different there. So far, slow. I a few coins in the in this uh, muck here it's about six inches of muck but there is stuff in it a few coins and so on right so okay i got uh, an unusual piece of brass here seems like a lot of targets get stuck even though it's really softer they kind of gravitate close to the rocks maybe the current and then they get stuck by rock but that's kind of a cool little thing there actually maybe it's a uh, for a tap shut off or some sort of thing hard to say you know what? I know what this is. I was I, I was getting gun pieces. I think that's part of a gun. The inside where the bolts go. Six. You know that? I'm thinking because I had gun pieces. Let's see if I can dig some stuff out here and show you. Hopefully uh, my camera lens is not too dirty. Like this thing, look at this. This is a part of a gun. Right? And then I had other pieces here, like a, some sort of handgun or something. Here's another piece here. See that? Somehow. There's another piece like this. There's a gun here. But I don't know if they would use brass in there, to be honest. Don't know, but it's my kind of guess, right? But I know I, I, I got pieces of a gun. So, anyways, uh, just never know. The tide right now is coming up, so got maybe another half an hour in this area probably, and I'm going to move somewhere else. We'll see. I'm just doing the mud here. Believe it or not, I'm getting bullet casings, bullets, pieces of lead in this muck. Over six, eight inches of muck. But the stuff is sitting there, and it is a bit of a hard layer. Not too hard, but there's a layer in the bottom. It's kind of in between. Okay. okay, that's my hunt. Um... I had more trash, but it was too big trash, so I took whatever small trash I could. I don't, I don't know if that's for a gun barrel, I don't know, but this looks almost like a gun, see? The two halves here. Right, see, it looks like a gun panel. It's really heavy, so, but it could also be a toy gun. This is, oh, this, uh, hmm. I thought maybe a gun piece, but I'm not sure. So this is lead here, lead, these are net leads, the net, nets, and the bullet here, and then I got that key, Chrysler key, piece of brass, it's another piece, lead, and then uh, this is uh, other piece of lead, lead bullets that are squashed, right there. And squashed piece of lead so not a lot of coins Five. some coins are totally rotted out well 10 coins there's an uh, old one here it's a 40s George Can't really make it out anyways that's my loot for today oh yeah and I also got this ring by the way, 
take a better look at the ring again. I mean, it's a signet ring. It looks old. I mean, I mean, it's probably pretty brittle. It looks like it's bending, slightly bending a bit. But let's throw it on electrolysis and see what it does. It's got an initial or something in there. I can see it with a loop. Oh, I see some. I see some actual writing here for sure. Let me just uh, get my loop out. Almost thought it said sterling there, but. It could easily be a silver ring. Let's just uh, take a quick look here. Hmm, can't really make it out to be honest. But it's definitely some writing in there, so hmm. Could be a silver ring actually, hard to say. Silver usually goes pretty black. Hmm. We'll do electrolysis on it. I'll show you a still picture later, what it, what it is here, just so, just to identify it. Okay, that's it on this hunt here. Okay, this is Roberto. Old man. It is old. Wow, that is old. It's old, dude. He's got three golds here. That's initial or something in there. Yeah, that's signet. One. Like what you filmed. Wow. Finky. Where's the other one you got? Number three. Look at this one. 18k. What? What came? Cross two? Yep. Yeah. Found and cross. this? Yeah. That one. That one that's right silver. Yep. Yeah. You found that cross oh, down here. Beautiful. Yep. 18k is a marking that loop. <laughs> Holy <laughs> there shit. There you go. Give me this guy's a man. monster, man. <laughs> wow. And this is off the dry. Oh, yeah. And it's going to start. Junk. What'd you get? A bunch of dead crap. I dude. get there's so much metal here in my machine. Yeah, 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 yeah. same with mine. So much. Yeah. There's too okay, much yeah. metal. Wow, Roberto, congratulations, dude. Right on, uh, thank you. Wow. This is the gold trick today. The <laughs> gold <laughs> master, Mr. T, <laughs> strikes <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah. Nice oh, find, Roberto. Right on. Why is so good here? Because he's lucky. Wow. There you go. What do you trade? You trade big honking gold ring for that. Signet ring. For this? Yeah, he wants a big signet ring. I got one at yeah. home. Oh, yeah. So this one, but I he wants to keep that work. Cross is nice. I like the cross, yeah. Beautiful, yeah. yeah. How many cross. carats across? 18. 18. Wow. This is uh, marking that look. Wow. Yeah. So we're in here. We're in here. <laughs> Stuff's in here. It's loaded with junk in here. Yeah, it's loaded with junk. You gotta deal with the junk. I know, though. but uh, well, I can, if I hold it still, my PI, mm. it gnaws out on iron. Go down there the muck. That's what I'm thinking. I might go over yeah. to right in the muck. Here is pretty. That's what I but found the, here against the muck, not in the rocky. Nothing, no golden rocks. No, uh, the most gold I found in yeah. here. In the muck. Yeah. yeah, in the muck. That's what I'm looking for. Gross, right there. Okay, yeah, yeah. The muck, down. muck. Yeah. I'm interested. Yeah. Okay, yeah. awesome. Good. Congratulations, oh bro. You know this lost here. Joe, yeah. beam, 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 beam. He's got pulse induction though, but hey. He's got. Oh, you got the T DSL, huh? Oh, really? Yeah. Like mm -hmm. it, it won't shut up. It's like, ee, 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 ee. <laughs> it sounds like things broken. And we burrow, like, ee, shovels in the air every three minutes. Christ. Awesome, awesome. Oh, I'll show you the picture of my silver. Oh, the ring I got yesterday, by the way, it looked like it was, it was copper or brass. It ended up being sterling silver. Okay, yeah, a really sharp bullet yeah, tip. Up. Look at that, man. Imagine getting that into you. Wow, it's pretty big, like an inch long. Amazing. Okay, I just got a large scent here. I can't see the date here, but it uh, looks like it's going to be in nice shape, actually. See the one cent there, a large cent. That's awesome. I got a new strategy I'm gonna do now. I'm only going for narrow targets, not not super loud, as long as they have a narrow beam. And that was a narrow beam and a different lower tone, not a higher tone. So we're gonna see how that plays out. So far I got a lot of pieces of little lead, little sharp projectile things from bullets. All these holes produce like little copper things and different things. So anything that's super loud, I'm not digging unless it's a narrow tone. So we'll see. Hopefully I can get a gold ring because there's so much iron in here. Every two, three feet, there's iron everywhere. It's loaded here. So, but you know, I, if I hear a loud signal, I'll just kind of listen to it. If it doesn't all out and if it's kind of a narrow looking, then I'll, I'll, I'll dig it. Okay, so stay tuned. Uh, method's working pretty good. Got an old, old bullet here. I'm not sure how old it's gonna be, but uh, I mean, they're using my labs here and they're not picking this stuff up. Maybe they're not listening for it, I'm not sure, but uh, you know, I'm systematically going really slow, picking up the lower tones, and it's working out really good. I mean, lower tones means a weaker signal and a narrow, narrow beam. 
Iron is usually a big, bigger halo. Listen for the just a tighter, tighter things. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, on now. It's on now? Yeah, it's on now. Okay. Blinking. Dave just got a little ring here, a real tiny, tiny little ring, silver ring. Yeah, looks like it's all ring. brittle, real brittle, yeah. huh? Yeah, it's just gonna break apart. Ready to fall apart. Yeah. Silver. It looks like a yin yang ring, actually. Yin yeah, yang, yeah. Just a little baby ring. A little, for the the mother pearl on there. Yeah, for pearl. Any man. coins? No, nah, pennies, a lot of bullets. Yeah, I got a lot of bullets too. Little tiny ones, like 22. I gotta go you go slow, man. There's so many things in here. I know. But uh, anyways, keep pluck, keep plucking away. Okay. He passed me over a fine for Ming. Ming got bling. Bing got uh, St. Christopher. There you go. Oh yeah, that's a nice one, huh? That's probably silver. Yeah. St. Christopher, look at that. Oh, it's got part of the loop still hanging there. It's all the chain. Yeah. Awesome, fine, right there on. Go, dude. Ming, Ming, Ming did it. Yeah. Good. How about you, Phil, anything? Uh, large set, that's it. Bullets. Got a little nickel, little dude there. Silver nickel? Yeah, a little nickel. Good shape? I don't know, it's just George. Huh. King George, a little silver nickel. Yeah, oh, wow. He's got what you, a big British penny, maybe? Hard to tell, looks like What is it, it huh? It looks like a coin. Could be a tag, though. Hmm. Can't tell. Looks like a British large penny, doesn't it? Can't really tell. Oh, it could be a coin, yeah. It could look like a large penny, Four maybe. Six. No, like British, maybe. Hard to say, no. don't know. Everybody's finding stuff here actually. No gold for me yet, but you never know. Uh, just got a nice uh, house key here. Tide's coming in, you can see it's coming in quite a bit already. But uh, can't see the name there. But that's been there for quite a while, house key. Okay, okay these are my finds. Another crab, another crab. Okay, these are my finds here. Um, fishing weights. Lots of different fishing weights. Large scent here. Which may, may clean up. As the air gets to them, may do a little electrolysis and cleaning on it to see the date. Large scent there. The big, big brass and copper and so on. Cool finds the key there. Did get a couple coins, uh, a few dimes, but they're pretty rotted. Penny. I don't see scrap metal came out of there. Oh, this is pretty well scrap metal. Anyways, uh, not that great. Roberto's lucky he pulled everything off in the first couple hours. So a highlight was uh, two gold rings, gold crucifix, uh, ring off, silver ring came out the sand, and then um, a silver nickel came out, a silver quarter, but those are going to be in bad condition. Dave got a ring, you've seen, it was all kind of broken up, silver. Anyways, that's it. Tides, I'm on a different section here now, this is, I was farther east that way now. I've hunted all along here before, but it changes because you, so many people come here. It's a very busy beach. So and it's not even summer yet. It's always busy. So I guess from that dock all the way to UBC almost is uh, one big beach. And they got different stands here. These are um, food stands. They got like three or four in a row and some parking lots and stuff like that. Okay, that's it. That's all for detecting on this video. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.